air the control column if I were you, Doctor. It might give you an electric shock. Yes, well, perhaps it would be wiser to check the porticator first. I'm glad I thought of that. Yes, come along, come along. Barbara? Keep an eye on Susan? Yes. Uh, don't tell her about something being in the ship. No, of course not. You know, the less said, the better, eh? Yes, it is. Coming, coming. Are you all right? Oh, yes, these numbers keep blurring before my eyes. But oh. What can I do to help? Well, if you wouldn't mind standing in front of that indicator, and what you would see would be a, a series of numbers. wrong with me? No, you, you just need a rest, that's all. Where's Grandfather? He's checking the controls with Ian. Have they found out what's wrong with the ship? Well, Ian thinks there was a power failure. Why did you ask me if I knew who you were? Susan, why don't you give me those scissors? Give them to me. Susan, what's all this about? You said there'd been a power failure. No, I didn't. I, I said that's what Ian thinks. I overheard the two of you. There's something here in the ship and he doesn't want you to tell me. Oh, I see. You just overheard a couple of words and you've come... No! You'd like to. We wouldn't hurt you, Susan. Surely you know that. Shadows before. So silent in the ship. Yes. Well, we're imagining things. We must be. I mean, how would anything get into the ship anyway? The doors were open. Yes, but. But where would it hide? In one of us. No. No. We must stop talking about this. <laughs> Can you imagine what the others would say if we told them? They'd simply laugh at us. Oh, supposing there isn't a fault. You must be clairvoyant. We've just checked everything. And it's all perfect. Which is fantastic. How are you feeling? I'm all right. Good. What's my grandfather doing? That's what I came to tell you both. He's decided that the only fault can be outside the ship. He's gone to turn on the scanner. No! No, you mustn't! Don't 